Hi, I'm Mark Schaus, and I'm with Knowledge Through Solutions, also known as KTS Products, and we're here today to discuss electrolytes. To me, electrolyte balance is one of the most important foundational things that we have to do in order for optimal health, especially for active people, but not just them, for everybody. So what is an electrolyte? Well, basically an electrolyte is any liquid solution that conducts electricity. Your blood, for instance, that's a powerful electrolyte. And you need those electrolytes, which are things like sodium, potassium, magnesium, phosphorus, in order for your heart to pump, your brain to think, your cells to stay alive. You need it. Your heart is an engine. It needs electrical, it's kind of like an electrical motor, you might say. It needs to be able to pump. And that's a sodium potassium pump. Your brain, sodium potassium pump. Again, that's how those signals get sent. And it's a balance of those two that is very important. So, all those of you who've, say, done the frog's leg experiment would remember this. It was in junior high school, you had a frog's leg, it was in water, you put sodium into it, it contracted, you put potassium in, it relaxed. So, sodium relaxes, potassium contracts. You've got to remember that. What do we get in a typical Western diet, and what do we really need? First, let's start with our needs. We need about 4,700 milligrams of potassium a day and about 2,300 milligrams of sodium. It's about a two to one ratio. And this is something that we've been needing since time immemorial as humans. We need potassium every day, higher quantities, because we don't retain it. Sodium, on the other hand, because it was so scarce for so many millennium, we retain it very well. So we need less. Our body holds on to it quite well. There's the ratio, about two to one. So what do we get in a typical Western diet? I guess you can see the problem here. We're getting a whopping 3,400 milligrams of sodium, but look at the potassium, almost half of what we need, 2,400 milligrams. That's really unhealthy. We're not getting nearly as much potassium as we really need. We need 4,700 milligrams. That's 2,300 a day that we're not getting. That's half of the need. So that's where the problem is. So you might think to yourself, and you've been listening to all these so-called medical experts, let's cut the sodium down. That's how we're going to control things. Problem is, most of the studies that we see out there show absolutely no benefit to cutting sodium out of your diet. It doesn't help with hypertension. Why? Because they're not addressing the potassium need. That's very critical. So that's why people have hypertension. The muscle in the heart doesn't completely relax. It's always in the contraction phase. So, what's the answer? Electrolytes. So let's look at some of the popular ones on the market today. Well, the first one, coconut water. Has everybody seen it? It's getting real popular. What does it contain? It contains about 470 milligrams of potassium. That's a good start. Problem is, it only contains 45 milligrams of sodium. That's not good. Especially if you're an athlete. You need the sodium because you sweat, you lose the, the sodium, frankly. You're addressing the potassium here, but you're not addressing the sodium. Ah, but there's one other issue here. It has 11 grams of sugar per serving. We don't need sugar. That's not one of the things that we really need. But in order for electrolytes to work, many of them feel they have to add sugar into it because they don't understand the laws and principles of osmolarity and how things move in and out of the cells. Let's go to another one. Very popular one, the most popular drink in the world. I call it Electrolyte CC. It has 75 milligrams of sodium in it, and I'm sure it has potassium in it, but they don't put it on the label, so we don't really know. The big problem with it, it contains 65 grams of sugar per serving, and that, again, we really don't need. And it does have something called phosphoric acid, which is a very acidic form of phosphorus and not good for the body, especially for your bones. Let's go to the ones that really talk about themselves as being electrolytes. We have electrolyte P. Now, electrolyte P is one that has about 35 milligrams of potassium in it and 150 of sodium. And you can see the problem. Lots of sodium, very little potassium. Again, not what we need. We need more potassium here. And it also has 21 grams of sugar per serving. Now, let's go to the big guy, the one that everybody talks about, all the big sports people. 45 milligrams of potassium in this electrolyte G and 160 of sodium. Again, not the balance we need. Yes, you lose sodium. 
when you work out, but you also lose potassium and you need that. It also contains 21 grams of sugar. And then we have this one that I picked up and it says electrolyte water. And I picked it up from one of the large chains of grocery stores, the, the natural foods grocery stores here in the United States. Unfortunately, when I look at the nutrition label, there's no sodium listed. It says on its ingredients it's got potassium in it, but it doesn't have on the nutrition facts, so it couldn't be very much. It says magnesium and calcium, again, not on the label. It just says it's an ingredient. I wonder, maybe they just tap a magic wand on it and hope something falls into there to be an electrolyte. It will not conduct electricity very well, so really not the solution. So, you might be asking, what is the solution? Well, it's the Cineplex difference. These electrolytes here, the active, maintain, and revive, have the balance, as you can see on this chart. 192 milligrams of potassium, 92 milligrams of sodium, about 2 to 1. The maintain, 183 to 99, again, 2 to 1. And we have the revive, 222 of potassium and 100 of sodium, 2 to 1 balance. That's critical. This is what your body wants and needs. We also contain bicarbonates, magnesium, chloride, phosphorus in the form of potassium phosphate, the alkaline version, and a little bit of sulfate as magnesium sulfate. These are the things that are really important. We know that CC over here, it contains bicarbs, but also contains lots of sugars and other things we don't want. The other guys, not so much magnesium. And they definitely don't have any of the bicarbonates, which are very important, especially for those people who work out in order to buffer all those acids and the lactic acid your muscles produce. So this is where this becomes superior. But there's more. There's pH. pH is important too, because as we see at the bottom, our blood wants to be between 7.3 and 7.4, and it fiercely fights for that. It will, when it sees acids, dump alkaline material into the blood to keep it there. And I mean, it works very hard at this. So when you look at the sports drinks here, their pH is around three to five. It's acid, quite acid. And your body's gonna look at it and say, hey, I gotta balance it so it's gonna dump alkaline minerals into the bloodstream in order to keep that balance going. Where does it come from? Your bone. Cineplex difference, ours is between 7.2 and 7.4. Your body's gonna look at that and say, hey, I don't have to do any work. This is what I want. It's at the right balance of electrolytes and the right balance of pH. That's the important key factor. And we also have to remember one thing. Our systems are electrical systems. And there was a book written by Dr. Bjorn Nordenstrom where he put out that our systems are electric circuits and we have a circulatory system of these electrolyte systems. So this is very important. He was the former chairman of the Nobel Prize Committee for Medicine and Physiology so he's a pretty respected researcher. So on top of it, it's a matter of balance. These electrolytes are not easy to formulate. I've spent 30 years on this, since 1985. And we have to balance the sodium to potassium is one thing, but the bicarb to the chloride and the sulfate, that's important. The magnesium to the phosphorus, these things need to be in balance. My mentor John taught me, not that you dump lots of stuff in there like you can you know, add the coconut water for all the potassium you need, but then you're not addressing the balance here. You create imbalances, and that's not what you need. If you need the balance, Centerplex is the answer. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, and be in good health.